In this segment, you will learn how to repair structural damage on a composite truck hood using Fusa 120 T21. Benefits of using Fusa 120 T21 include one product bonds and repairs rigid plastics, long open time, proven performance. Begin by covering the break in the composite plastic with masking tape. This protects the damaged area from absorbing the prep product and eliminates wicking, often associated with poor adhesion. Next, remove all waxes, silicons, dirt and debris from the area surrounding the repair with fuser plastic and rubber cleaner. Stock number 703. Then sand the backside of the repair area using 80 grit sandpaper. Using compressed air, remove dust and debris. Now we will prepare the structural reinforcing patch using Fuser fiberglass cloth, stock number 702. Cut a section of the plastic membrane slightly larger than the repair area. Then cut the fiberglass cloth slightly smaller than the plastic membrane to fit the back of the repair. It is important to note that prior to using any two-component adhesive, seam sealer or foam, dispense a small amount of material from the cartridge to ensure an even flow of both components. Then attach a mixing tip and dispense a small amount of material until uniformly mixed. This is a key step in all repairs. Apply a coat of Fuser 120 T21 to the plastic membrane, smoothing it out with an applicator. Place the fiberglass cloth onto the Fuser adhesive, then cover the cloth with another coat of Fuser 120 T21, smoothing with a spreader. Now apply the prepared patch to the back side of the repair and compress the patch using a Fuser saturation roller, stock number 704. Heat set the reinforcement patch for about five to 10 minutes or until the Fuser 120 sets. Remove the plastic membrane and start repairing the front side of the damaged area. Remove the masking tape and grind the damaged area down to the backing patch, leaving no edges. Use an angle grinder with a 36 grit disc. Gradually taper the repair area rather than V-groove. V-grooving will leave sharp edges, causing an unacceptable repair. A gradual taper or cove eliminates the possibility of bullseyes or halos usually caused by V-grooving. Now sand the prepared area using a DA sander or block sand with 80 grit paper. Remove dust and debris with compressed air. In restoring Class A composite body panels to pre-accident condition, build a pyramid patch using Fuser fiberglass cloth, stock number 702 and Fuser 120. This step is used only on the Class A side of the body panel. Start by cutting a piece of plastic curing membrane slightly larger than the repair area. Apply Fuser 120 T21 to the membrane using an applicator. Cut a first layer of fiberglass cloth slightly smaller than the repair area. Apply a layer of Fuser 120 T21 over the fiberglass cloth and smooth using an applicator. Apply subsequent layers of fiberglass cloth and adhesive, each layer being slightly smaller than the previous one. It's important to work as much fiberglass cloth into the repair as possible. This controls expansion and contraction in hot and cold temperatures, eliminating read through or bullseyes. Build two to three layers, followed by a top coat of adhesive. This patch should now form a pyramid shape. Place the pyramid of fiberglass cloth and adhesive on the prepared area. Work the adhesive into the repair by rolling with the fuser saturation roller. This eliminates air pockets and pinholes. To ensure a Class A finish, heat cure the entire repair for one hour using a heat lamp at 82 degrees Celsius. Use a thermometer or equivalent to determine a proper distance between the heat lamp and the repair. The final heat cure will bring the plastic up to the maximum temperature often experienced in a bake oven or under typical weather conditions. This step ensures total shrinkage with no bullseyes. After the repair patch cools, remove the plastic film and rough cut with an angle grinder to remove all excess adhesive. Finish sand the area with 80 grit sandpaper. 
To eliminate pinholes or minor imperfections, use Fuser Plastic Finishing Adhesive. Stock number 114. Prior to applying Fuser 114, squeeze a small amount of adhesive from the cartridge to level the plungers. Then dispense the unmixed components onto a mixing board and mix with a plastic spreader. Apply the mixed Fuser 114 to the repair. You will have two to three minutes before the Fuser 114 begins to set. Allow to cure for 10 to 15 minutes and DA sand or block sand with 180 grit sandpaper. If necessary, repeat another skim coat of Fuser 114 and allow 10 to 15 minutes before finish sanding. Blow off the repair area with compressed air, then prime and refinish per the paint manufacturer's recommendations. This completes the composite body panel structural repair using Fuser 120 T21. For more information, visit www.lord.com or contact your local Fuser distributor.